According to new research, it's scientifically proven that no matter how old a man is, his ideal woman is the age of... 22! <laughs> 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 Boo, says the lady in the front. Um, however, for a woman, her perfect partner is the same age as she is at the time. So there you go. Do you think that's true? I kind of do. I've got a friend who's almost 60. A and guy he, and a girl? A guy. A guy. And he has been, was with the same woman for about 20 years in their 30s. And uh, they broke up a couple of years ago. And he started dating somebody that was 22. And he said, um, you know, once I, I kind of looked at her skin and uh, her naked and she looked so young and it was so fresh, I don't think I could ever, ever date anyone over 30 again. Oh! Uh, what a so that was, yeah. What a pig. Oh, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Pardon, then, did you say uh, Why would you have a friend like that? Get rid of me. <laughs> <laughs> Me. That really, I know. Really it's a bit me. Me. I do know people like that. I was actually out for lunch yesterday, and I was talking to someone who he said exactly the same thing. He just got divorced from his wife. He's spending most of his time in Thailand now, working his way through all the young Thai girls. Oh it my actually, god! I find it really, really, <laughs> really upsetting. Working really... his way through it. I know. Yeah. <laughs> He's like the same age, probably about 65, 70. Do you think it's fine if you're talking about... So, maybe, so. but if you're talking about, like, physical appearance, yeah. like, obviously, for a guy to say that, they're going to say that, aren't they? But what about if they're in a situation... Like, my Eddie, before we dated, he took a girl out on a date and she was younger than him. I mean, she wasn't, like, really young, but <laughs> he said when we were in the car, he was singing along to Luther Vandross, never too much, and she didn't know who Luther Vandross was. <laughs> oh. And he went... And it was that moment for me that I just thought, I have got absolutely nothing in common with her. <laughs> There's absolutely I've no point going exactly, on a second date. I had the same experience. I was kind of getting jiggy. We didn't go all the way, by the way. <laughs> we were just kissing on the sofa. And then um, afterwards, we put the TV on and Lionel Blair was on. And I went, oh, it's Lionel Blair. And he was like, who's Lionel Blair? I thought, OK, this is never going to work. Was he How can you not know who Lionel was? Was he a lot is? younger than you? He was a little bit younger than me, but not that much. Oh, no, younger. everybody's it was about a little bit. Let me get this straight. So you <laughs> dumped him because he didn't know Lionel Blair was? <laughs> I think that's a good reason to dump someone <laughs> if they don't know who Lionel Blair is. Have you ever been out with anyone really young? No. I mean, Lee, my daughter's father, is just nearly seven years younger than me. Yeah. But never noticed. But also, it's different because we were both both younger, obviously, and we both never had any kids and everything. We've never been married and all that. So that felt yeah. very different. Mm. I think it's when someone has gone through all of that and then they leave their wife and go for someone much younger. Yeah. I also Do you know what think... I mean? That's when it sits a bit I more... Can kind of, I mean, I hate to say this, I'm betraying my sex, but I can see why a guy in his late 50s or early 60s who has been in a long-term relationship and he's had all the stress, he's had a kind of crazy woman like me, and he thinks... Hey, <laughs> You know, and he wants, you know, I just want a simple life. I just want a bit of sex, you know? You know, I, I can see Don't it, Don't put you know? yourself down, Unfortunately, yeah. you know, young flesh, a bit... You know, if they're not looking for a relationship... What about the other way around? What about the other way around? What about... Yeah, but that's fine, too, I younger men. Yeah, but women are different. I mean, I wouldn't go for a younger guy because no, I neither. would feel it would reflect badly on me. So, I mean, if I was in bed with a younger guy, I would just continually be thinking, oh, okay, my God, how young that he must want to be sick. Because if you're talking about... OK, if you're talking about about someone in their mid-30s, I think they're mature enough to know... It's just when they're kind of in their early 20s, you think, oh, that's See, a bit that's too young. See, that's the point, young. isn't it? It's whether it's a physical thing or you well, want yeah, to actually absolutely. have a conversation, have something in common. Yeah. See, I couldn't go out with a younger guy for that reason. No, mm -hmm. yeah. I'd just be thinking, what do you talk about? Yeah. And I love a bunny, me. Yeah. I love a chat. Yeah. You, you I love, love a, a, what? I thought you were a bunny boiler or something. <laughs> We'd gone on to self-love very fast. I, um, I thought you were talking about a toy of some kind. Yeah, that's all right. Yeah, we'll just say that then. Sorry. Yeah, funny. Yeah. 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 Isn't Joe Thomas with us? We're bunny. going to be chatting to him more um, after the break about his new book and stuff. But you, you've been out with older women, haven't you, Joe? I've been out with older women, but out with slightly younger women. I think it's it's absolutely fine. I'm the same. I, if if nobody knows the big breakfast with Denise Denise Van Alten, then I'm out. <laughs> hey, Joe, I was skimming through your book and there's a bit in it where one of your encounters, shall we say, wait till you hear about this book, actually, in the next part, um, and you were concerned because you hadn't done a bit of manscaping. Now, I, you know, I'm a different generation. I, I, I've never known a bloke to do manscaping. Oh, no, I like... I've got my mask 
mouth's wide open, aren't they? Like, <laughs> what do you have done then? What bits do you have done? Well, you, you've got, I've got to make sure it's all trim and tidy, you How know? How can you forget it's to like... trim your bush <laughs> if you're going out with somebody for nine months only? It should be trimmed, it should be in really? place. Really? Ronnie yeah, goes out every, every so often. He goes out to the garden with the big scissors <laughs> and he's down there. <laughs> Are you over not neighbours? Do they think you've got a dog? Well, I don't know what they do. <laughs> but we've got like a, a little sort of pile of pubic hairs in oh that my God. Oh. And he does it every so often. Oh, oh, so look, there's no excuse, you should have trimmed the bush. It's oh true. my god, I can't yeah. I know that. You've got to be careful he doesn't cut your snooker That's cue what off. I've said then, to him. Then, that will be then you see more of the snooker cue. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> That's the um, point. Well, Christopher Biggins as he's Back second crack down. <laughs> oh, really? One day and he went, I'm on all fours, I'm just being done. How <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this so... a daytime show? <laughs> <laughs> uh oh, I can feel an email coming.